Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 4 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series, uh, where today I've done a little bit of mining between episodes, as you can see uh, from my inventory here, I've got a few things. I don't know if bauxite will or double in the pulverizer, is that a... yeah, well, okay, cool. Good deal then. Yeah, go ahead and process. So last episode, we got uh, a little bit of RF power going on. We got a little bit of pulverize and a little bit of redstone furnace and very excited to have some semblance of automated ore doubling, right? It's not the fanciest thing in the world, but it gets the job done. Uh, also, just to have a bunch of cobblestone, I need to figure out. You know what I'm gonna do? Um, I want to make a drawer from the storage drawers mod. I feel like that's a good, a good use of my time at the moment. What I'm gonna do, is double right click and that'll put all my cobblestone in there and that should be yeah so this is the first time really checking out storage drawers let's see shift left click gives you the stack still regular left click gives you an independent individual one right right click you know double right click puts them all in your inventory nice all right so that looks pretty good so that'll be a nice way to store all the cobble that i've got going on and that'll let me hold off on upgrading these chests too much um, all my ores that are smelted should eventually be making their way over to here. And that actually looks like it's working pretty beautifully. Um, all right, now I definitely have to upgrade my chest. <laughs> or make a second chest. So let's see, uh, two things that I might want to do. Let's see, do I have access to cardboard boxes? Or do I need, I need sawdust from the thermal series. So immersive engineering sawmill, precision sawmill, pulverizer will get me sawdust. Well, that is cool. Let's do that. Give me one piece of wood in the pulverizer if you don't mind. That would be cool. We're gonna check out two things right now. Um, first off, I want the cardboard box because I love the cardboard box from Mechanism. Super cool. Basically lets you move tile entities around and that's what I wanna do right now. Um, so to accomplish that, I'm just gonna move my bed briefly and make sure to right click reset your spawn point. Uh, I want to add a new chest here. So I wanna slide this guy over. So I just cover him with a cardboard box and then block data yes, he has a chest inside him. And if I place that and then shift right click, it'll remove the cardboard box and everything that was in the chest is there. Ha, cool. Look at that, how great is that? Oh, uh, right click to place it on, then break. Shift right click to remove, and then that's there. And then you're good, and that's cool. So I'd like a chest. The reason for this is I generally like to have a chest for like dusts and stuff. And that should be good. Dust and gems separate from metals. So basically, metals in one chest, dusts and gems in the other chest. So stuff like this. Uh, and you guys and you guy, the bauxite can be processed. Ventium, I'm not sure if I can process you. I'm assuming I can't, but maybe I can. Yeah, no, he only gets smelted into a dust. That's it. So smelting only for Ventium. So if I wanted to, right, there's no other use for him besides smelting him. So let's be, let's be cool about this. I'm going to put the Ventium in here. And then he should kick into there and then process. And that should be good times. So all this goes in here, looking good. So that's your gems chest. And then this will be my ingots chest. And that's pretty useful, right? And that just expands. So cardboard boxes, cool. Storage drawers, cool. Um, how are we for storage at this point? Not terrible. But very soon we're going to need to start upgrading our chests to some kind of some kind of something. Some kind of something. How are you guys doing? You pulverized and processed? Awesome. Now we're just cooking up a little bit more Ventium and some aluminum grit, and we should be good to go. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, so you guys go into here. Actually, the aluminum grit still needs to be processed. Silly me. And gravel. And flint. Flint, I'm gonna stick. Uh, I always question where I should put flint. Does it go here or does it? It doesn't really matter. I guess I'll leave it with the other gems and stuff. All right, so you're done working redstone furnace. You guys are all cooked up and nicely organized. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, what I wanna do today uh, is expand my mining ability and maybe, maybe start looking at moving out of this here house. Um, so I, I did, between episodes, do a bunch of mining. Uh, I upgraded the uh, diamond pickaxe here and I added to it 
um, mining efficiency one. So I had speed one on there. I honed this thing because I got another hone upgrade and then I did some more mining. Um, so I could enchant this thing if I wanted to, if I got an enchanted book. So I might want to do that. Um, what I did learn is that the efficiency of the tool also relates to mining speed. So efficiency is like your base speed, I think. And then the speed modifier um, modifies it. So like this thing 1.15 makes it a little bit faster. So it's basically this times this is your overall speed. I think, I think is the gist of the way I understand it. So, hey, that's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty cool. And then how's my sword doing? Is he, he's not quite close to honing yet. So what I'm thinking is because there's not at, in this version of Tetra, a three by three mining tool, right? Um, there's, there's two paths I can go down in terms of mining that I know of at this moment. I could check out the flux bore from thermal, right? So I could, you know, add that to my to-do list here, go ahead and craft this bad boy and he can be upgraded to the point where you can do, you know, multiple levels of mining. I could do that, or I could go down the path of mining gadgets. That's my mod, I like that one. So there's actually a choice here. I made mining gadgets so that it's not the best mining tool that there is. Um, the flux bore, I know I'll be able to do three by three mining, but I'll also be able to do five by five. And even I think you can get up to seven by seven if you want, but there's some choices that you have to make because you have a certain number of upgrade slots you can apply. So you can either go for like faster mining or bigger area mining, and you have to basically choose which one you want. Um, so I kind of want to check out the flux bore because I haven't played with it yet. But also, I do love me my mining gadget. So we're going to probably start with the flux bore, see how it goes, and then maybe also make a mining gadget, play with that a little bit, see how it goes, and then we'll decide which one we like to use for the series. Does that sound cool? Probably won't do mining gadget today. We'll probably stick with flux bore today. So if we want to play with the flux bore, which I kind of do just to see how big it can get and how good it can be, um, we're going to need a tinker's workbench. And this is going to give us the ability to uh, modify the flux bore. So let me start by crafting the flux bore. We're going to need some copper, some iron, some gold, some tin, and some redstone. Should be cool. Iron. That's awesome, man. We don't need that yet. Tin, copper, gold. I'm going to need a nugget or two. Should be pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see. So for the flux bore itself, we're going to need the drill head. And we're going to need the copper gear. And we're going to need two tin gears. And we're going to need you. And that should be a flux bore. Hooray! Flux bore. Ready to roll. Uh, so the other thing we're going to need to do is charge it. So we can either use charging gadgets to charge it. Uh, or we can use a, a thermal machine since we're already producing thermal power. Um, so let's see, thermal, what's that thing called in this version? Is it the same thing? Blast, da, 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 so, blah, 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 fluid encapsulator, sequential fabricator. Where is the thing? Centrifugal separator. Uh, I don't know. You would think it's here somewhere. Actually, I wonder if the Tinker's Workbench is where you can charge it. Let's try that out. So I'm just gonna need some glass for that one. Is that all? It might be that the Tinker's Workbench is also where you charge the thing. We're gonna find out. So I just need a crafting table. And now Tinker's Workbench. That should be cool. Uh, let's do, I'm just gonna pop you back here for the time being. Oh, he does, aha. Look at this, this is interesting. So mode charger fill augment. Ooh, that's cool. So I put that in there, augmentation, and then augment mode does what? He stops charging, and then what, can I augment the, oh, okay, I think that's interesting. That's neat. So I think we can insert augments into this thing at the Tinker's workbench. Um, so let's take a look what augments are available. In thermal so i know for sure these guys probably are important it's probably like the main upgrade so this is for machines right so for machines in thermal in the new version of thermal you you can augment the machines these are the way you tier so if you remember from previous versions of thermal you would upgrade the machine itself or you'd apply like the 
the upgrade kits. Now you augment the machines with the upgrade kits. So this is the hardened version of the machine, the reinforced version of the machine, and the resonant version of the machine. You can put one of each of these in here, right? Uh, or one of these in here. So like you put hardened in, but then you upgrade hardened to reinforced, and then you upgrade reinforced to enderium. So then you wind up with one enderium augment in here, and that'll be the, in the enderium version of this machine. And then you have three more upgrade slots where you can affect things like how, how fast they process and, and other kinds of stuff. So that's how the augment system works now for machines. I'm guessing that it's something similar in Tinker's workbench now. Um, but what's interesting is there's a fluid thingy here. So what's that about? I don't have any idea. I'm going to need... I think there's a book. Thermopedia. Yes. Yes, let's make a book, shall we? Do we have leather? We do. Uh, do we have sugarcane? We don't. But there's a river right behind me, which is a potential place to get sugarcane. Can I kind of go the long way around? Is it like... No, it's morning. Oh, good. Then I'm in pretty good shape. So let's go looking for some sugarcane. Uh, I'll probably want to set up a little bit of sugarcane growth going on. And I do believe that snad is in the pack. So we can get ourselves some snad, and that would be cool. And uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. Is this, uh, this is an old death point of mine, is that it? Didn't I clear that? I thought I did. Oh well, it's cleared now. I'll tell you what though, there's an enderman here. Should I try taking him on with no armor? Sure, why not? Booyah! But no ender pearl. Feels bad. I found sugar cane. It's over there in the distance. All right, we're back. So let's start with making a little bit of snad. Oh yeah, that's what's up. Snad is a good time. Uh, I'm gonna plant you guys for now, obviously, right here. This will probably, uh, should be, well, I'm thinking maybe we move him. Now, I also kind of forget, does Snad need water, or does Snad do its own thing with water? I guess we'll find out. I forget if Snad does the water bit for you. But we'll see. So give me some sugarcane. We're going to plant the three that I've got. Yeah, no, it definitely, it definitely still needs water. So let's get our bucket of water ready here. Yeah, that should be cool, right? I like it. Beautiful. Now, the other thing I'm curious about is, does the whole redstone toggle thing still yield silly amounts of growth? Because in previous versions of SNAD, I think it was considered a bug, but a redstone signal would force growth. So toggling a redstone signal, but which would... Uh, it doesn't seem like it is, right? Yeah, definitely not. So Snad, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, is is kind of like a jokey kind of mod, but it's pretty neat at the same time. Um, there was a rumor back in the day that sugarcane grew faster on sand than it did on grass or dirt. And that is not true. Uh, but people believed it because it was a rumor. Uh, but it's not the case that that is, that is how the, model, the game works. That, that does not behave that way. Um, but people thought it did. So uh, somebody made the mod Snad just kind of as like almost like a joke to say like, hey, now it does. So Snad is uh, is, is basically it makes sugar cane grow faster and cactus for that matter. Yay, Thermopedia. And we've got our first crescent hammer. Nice. So let's look through the book here and see if it tells us much about this whole manipulation thing. By the way, how cool does the Thermopedia look, right? Like, I love the blueprint-y kind of background. Hey, here we go, introduction to augments. So I found that under the technology section in the augments section. Uh, so all machines, devices, dynamos, and tools can be upgraded using augments. Augments provide various benefits, ranging from enhanced storage to increased ease of automation. Nice. And then integral components here are your, your upgrades that I was talking about. So let's make... Let's upgrade this with the integral component hardened tier, right? So this guy. So that's just gonna need some invar, which we can get, I think now's about the time because I know we're gonna have to combine a few materials here. Now's probably a good time to look into making an induction smelter. Uh, now that's also gonna need some invar. So our first 
foray into Invar, we need to make Invar blend, which is two iron dust and, and a nickel dust. So we have to get our iron and nickel, pulverize it down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is turn off the auto input here so that I can make, let's do, how about eight and four? Does that sound cool? I put them in there. He'll pulverize those into dusts. Um, and then we can combine those dusts into the blend and smelt the blend to make the Envar. But the induction smelter will make it so that we can combine the ingots directly. Uh, and that'll be a lot cooler. So let's definitely do that. So let's get our energy pipe here. We will clear out. Uh, let's check out the let's check out the flux bore as it exists with no upgrades whatsoever. So not bad, not bad at all. A little bit slower, I think, than my diamond pick, but also it doesn't have any diamonds on it, so that's not a surprise, right? Um, that makes perfect sense, actually, if you think about it. So that's not a big deal. All right, so there we go. We're getting some, getting some of this stuff, right? So you two and you will get me six in bar. Uh, and then we get a little bit more iron uh, pulverized down into the dust, and we'll get the rest of the invar that we're gonna need. So you're smelting up, not doing too shabby. You're making the last dust that I wanted. So this is like the the early way to get access to Invar, because you're going to need it, obviously, to make, uh, you know, stuff. So now let's get uh, ready to make this thing, because there's a few other things we're going to need, obviously. We're going to need you. We're going to need you. We're going to need a blast furnace, it looks like. So that's going to need some smooth stone. Good times. Loving me my smooth stone. Uh, and then some sand, which I used up all of, and my Envar gears and a redstone coil. Okay, let's go get... Ooh, it's nighttime. Maybe we can sneak out and just get a little bit of sand before anybody notices. The nice thing about the Flux score is that it doubles as a shovel. So, I mean, it's got that going for it, which is nice. That is definitely nice. Okay, so you're ready. Um, did you? All oh, right, I, I turned off the auto input. I specifically put that in there so that it would, and then yeah, I had the auto input turned off, so obviously that didn't work. I'm trying to keep my inventory some semblance of clean, if you know what I mean. So now, technically, if I wanted to, I could put this in blue and orange mode, and then it would suck the stone back in, but. For now, that's it. Okay, so smooth stone good means we're ready-ish to make a blast furnace. And then ready-ish to make an induction smelter. Just need two of you. And that looks cool. Boom. All the powers. Now this guy also only uses about 20 RF, so that's not too bad. Uh, but let's get ourselves, we'll make a little bit more ink, uh, nickel here or in Envar, right? So that looks good, right? So now we can do iron plus nickel directly, and that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna snag some silver, uh, because I'm thinking it might not be a terrible idea to augment this guy up to the to the Electrum tier as well. So let's try this out now. So I'm just gonna need some Envar gears. So you guys should be, and, and notice he makes this a lot quicker, right? Because he, he directly makes three Envar ingots rather than having to Pulverize it down, combine it, and then smelt one at a time. Super cool. Uh, so let's do this. I will need you, and then I will need you. And now what we should be able to do is put this guy in here. He's going to charge. We're going to switch him. See, I can't insert anything into his components until I switch this to augment mode. And now I assume I can do that. And then when I turn off augment mode, it, it applies the augment. So see how the battery filled up real quick? So turning off augment mode is what applied what we put in here. That's kind of cool. Like that. So now we've got, um, it, he can still do only a single block because I haven't added any radial enchantments to it yet, but he can totally do, you know, a few other things. That's pretty neat. Um, so he should be faster now. I would say that that feels a little bit faster, yes. But I want to upgrade him again directly. But that's noticeably quicker, right? I feel like it is. So let's get the next tier of augment, right? Uh, let's get this one. 
and I really don't need you guys on my to-do list anymore. So this guy needs quartz though, and he also needs signalum gears, which are made with signalum blend. Can induction smelter do it? Yes. Three copper, one silver, and four redstone is a signalum. So that's cool, let's do that. So three copper, one silver, and four redstone, right? And then two silver. I did have silver somewhere. Yes, that should be it. And that'll get me two sets of four signalum. But then quartz is going to be my my limiter here. Is it, pray tell, time for a little bit of another adventure? I feel like it might be. So I'm going to get myself a little bit of junky armor because it's better to have something than nothing. So I might as well wear a little armor. Whoop. Uh, obviously, there's probably some modded armor I could get into, but we'll start with this and we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's sleep through the night because, I mean, yeah, let's sleep through the night. Where do I want to put my uh, nether portal? I did mine some obsidian. Is this enough? I think it might be enough obsidian uh, to get the ball rolling here. Uh, but we're also going to need a flint and steel, which would require you. Cool. So a little bit of nether quartz would be super nice to have. Uh, where do I want to put my nether portal, though? Because I I never like putting it too close to my base because I don't like the woom, woom, woom sounding stuff. Let's put it... Do I want to put it, like, down in my mining area or do I want to put it, like, outside-ish somewhere? Let's put it relatively outside-ish somewhere. We'll put it relatively farther away from my base. It doesn't have to be too far. But, you know, should be not too close either. And then we'll do do this, do this, and then that. And that should be good to go. Yeah. All right, just did a little bit of inventory cleanup. Let's pop into the nether. All I need to do is grab a little bit of quartz, but also a little peek around the nether spawn would not be a terrible idea. Here goes nothing. Oh, we found our way into a basalt delta. Mm. Not terrible, but I also feel like quartz doesn't spawn a lot around here, does it? Not an exciting nether spawn, to be sure. Oof. Oof. What in the what is this? Oh, I can see a warped forest, though, on my map. Look at that. Down south of us? Check it out. That's got to be a, a, a warped forest, right? Yeah, warped forest. Booyah. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. All right. Those are neat. So, not what I'd call a great nether spawn, but I'm seeing nether quartz. So, it's what we're here for. That's definitely what we're here for. I just need a little bit of it. There's some right below me, too. Okay, let's get up here-ish. Not quite the nether spawn I was looking for. You know, it, it makes sense, though, right? Because we had such a good overworld spawn, having another spawn like this. Kind of not a surprise. Not a great nether. I just feel like there's no easy way around. There's not, like, a great and simple way to be like, yeah, let's, you know. find my way around here. All right, so let me just mine up a little bit of quartz and then we'll head back home and check out upgrading the tool for the next tier. Now, I think the the final tier, if we wanted to get resonant tool upgrade, is going to require at least an ender pearl or two. Not quite sure exactly how many, but we'll find out once we get the electrum tier one made. All right, back. I see some quartz right behind the portal and I can't can't help Mine it up. Also, Blackstone is how I get the next upgrade, the tier four upgrade, right? For the for the for the whatchamacallit. So using this blackstone, actually, I should be able to make myself a better sword, an osmium sword. That might be cool. Yeah. Yeah, from Tetra. That might be a good time. We'll think about doing that for sure. Okay. So got blackstone, got basalt, got a bunch of cool stuff. Let's do our thing. So first off, put away some junk. 
And then let's get back out all our metals that we had we were working on, gold and silver and invar and all that good stuff. So I know we're going to need, there's your signalum, and I suspect we're going to need some silver and gold to combine into electrum, right? Uh, and then we're going to need the hardened capacitor itself. So let me put you in here. You're going to charge up nicely. We're going to remove the hardened capacitor and replace it with the electrum tier capacitor. Cool. Um, so a little bit more iron nuggets. You're good to go. So let's make two of you. And boom, that was quick and easy, right? And then we can slot you in here, right? Turn off augment mode, and now he's gonna fill up to his next tier of energy boost. And that's pretty awesome. See, that feels even faster to me now, right? Am I crazy, or does that feel faster? I feel like it feels faster. Yeah, that ain't bad. And then if we were to just, just for giggles, what I'm going to do is remove this and compare it. I mean, it's not like hugely faster, but I feel like it's somewhat faster, right? Because this does, and it also amplifies augments, it says. So this thing might do better with more augments going on. Yeah. That might be cool. Yeah, it's definitely faster. It's definitely faster in my opinion. So now then, what we want next is the radial upgrade. And that's when we're going to have some fun. So that would be radial enhancement. So this guy needs tin and a redstone servo. That looks really easy to make. That is not bad at all. I forgot my redstone though. Right? Um, so redstone, doo -doo -doo. let's get like two of these, does that sound fair? Um, we don't need you no more. So that would be four gears, and then two radial enhancements, right? So I believe what's going to happen is I'm going to put one radial enhancement in here. Uh, with this turned on, there you go. So now if we were to snag this guy out of here, this I believe, if I hit, let's see single block so radial enhancements enabled right i have to do that to enable it right to actually apply the change yeah i believe that to be true uh so like a hotkey i need to do uh let's see options controls category cofh mm, v is the only hotkey in cofh uh, maybe shift right click it or something. How would I change you to be more than single block mode? That's a good question. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I think V is 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 because even when this is in my hand, V is doing the same thing. So I think that that's a hotkey conflict actually. So let's take a look. Key V. Uh, so like let's spell block toggle selection hugged. Like I'm just gonna remove you. Astral, I'll deal with in the future, and mechanism. So now, there we go, area three by three. Nice. Okay, that's cool. So that's three by three mining. And then if we put this in here and we pop this dude in, um, he should now be able to do five by five. Well, that's cool. Now I suspect that this is gonna be slower uh, than, 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 than not, but that's pretty cool. That is not actually bad at all. That is not bad at all. That is actually some really good mining. Wowzers. Wowzers indeed. Holy cow. That is that is some shenanigans. That was a little bit too easy to get into. Not that I'm complaining. Not that I'm complaining. And holding shift, by the way, um, makes it so it only mines one. Okay, that's cool. Wowzers. Wowzers. And technically, technically, uh, I can even throw another one of those in there for 7x7 seven seven mining. All right? Now, now power is going to be a problem for me. Power is going to be my main problem. Because look how much RF we got left. Like, that is not a good time. Uh, the other problem I'm going to have is inventory space. But we'll deal with that next episode, probably. But in theory right now, I shouldn't have a problem 
Uh, doing one more of these just just for fun? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So radial enhancement again. Now, here's the deal. We can't put other upgrades in this thing while, while that's happening, right? Um, so if we wanted like a speed upgrade, for example, we couldn't do that. Um, but I feel like... I feel like 7x7 seven seven is going to be better than any speed upgrade I can get, right? Let's go try that out. So 7x7, seven seven, how do you work? Do you do... Like, if I break this block, are you still going to... Yes. This is what I like when... I hate when mining tools are like, oh, I do 7x7 seven seven centered on the block you're looking at. No. I want it to be one below and, like, four above. Uh, and that's what's up. Wow, that is a little bit shenanigans, Lemmy. I'm just saying. We're going to need a magnet, and we're going to need... Uh, a way to void excess junk that we don't need. But yeah, that is actually really good. And we're also going to need batteries. So those are three major things we're going to need right now. We're going to need batteries. So thermal, do you have a battery of some kind? I hope you do. Some kind of capacitor is usually what it's called. You do. You have the flux capacitor. Uh, you also have a magnet available to you. Uh, and we're also going to need some kind of storage. I think we're going to want pocket storage. That's what's up. Uh, so those are the things we're going to work on. But wow, that is a really fast way to get into 7x7 mining. It just, the RF is going to drain extremely quickly, right? Like RF storage is going to be the problem here. Um, I think what what might wind up, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. But I, I kind of like it, you know? And I wouldn't mind upgrading this dude, but we're going to need enderium ingots for that. Uh, and that's an induction smelter recipe with two ender pearls yields two enderium ingots. And we're also going to need diamond dust and lead dust. To, not too much of a problem there. But effectively, we're going to need four ender pearls. And we're also going to need lumium gears, which are made in an induction smelter with glowstone. So we're going to need to get ourselves some glowstone, which isn't, you know, too bad. But enderium. Oh, and we'll also need hardened glass, which is going to be a thing. Not too bad, though, actually. Not bad at all. All right. So, wow, that's ridiculous. I kind of like how ridiculous that is. But before we really go crazy with it, we're going to absolutely want these three things. Because A, we're going to run out of power super quick, mining at 7x7. Seven seven. B, uh, the, the magnet is absolutely going to be needed for attracting all that stuff to my inventory as I'm mining it. And C, like my inventory is going to fill up super crazy fast. So we don't want that to happen either. All right. For now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time and play a little you know i'm gonna tell you guys a story i'm gonna tell you guys a story before we wrap up lemming has occasionally messaged me and he's like man your mining gadget it's so cool it's so neat why is it so good and i'm like dude like your 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 flux bore is pretty cool too like people are gonna be using your flux. he's like worried that people are gonna the mining gadget's gonna overshadow the flux bore no no after how easy it was for me to get seven by seven mining no lemming you don't have a leg to stand on not even a little bit that was too easy. That was legitimately too easy. All right, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time now that I've got this ridiculous mining tool. Uh, it would also perhaps behoove me uh, to, to look for a village because we're getting to the point where we have a little bit of experience. And I'm thinking find a village, do the whole lectern thing with the villager and maybe get myself some fortune would be cool. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, first things first, though, we need to get this stuff, and that's the plan for next episode. All right, guys, take it easy.